You know, the last few years of working with Lucky Craft, you know, we're always trying to create something new and, and something exciting, but there's some old staples out there that really, truly are effective. Uh, and I will give, gotta say that the, the shad wrap, original shad wrap, is a great bait. You know, the, sa the shape and the size of it and the action of the bait is great. Um, now we got something that's really great. We came out with the Slim Shad. Um, should be available now. It, this bait's, it, it's got the right profile. I mean, it looks like a little shad bait fish. So it's got the right profile. Um, it pulls really good. The bait runs deep. You can fish it as a crankbait. Uh, you can fish it as a jerkbait. Uh, all of those, but the very first time fishing this bait, and we're on Lake Amistad, and I was with uh, Manor, my boss from Lucky Craft, and he had a prototype, and he handed me this bait. Hey, you try. So I tie this thing on, I throw it out there. I think it was my first or my second cast, I catch one on it. Well, it works pretty good. Throw it out again, catch another one. So in a short amount of time, I mean, here I am just with a prototype bait and catching them. Uh, I also use this, uh, the Slim Shad, the D9, to uh, catch. It was my morning bait on the Clear Lake Bassmasters Tour event last year. Uh, very first spot I pull up to, I was catching them on the Slim Shad uh, in the morning. So I catch one or two, you know, good fish, you know, four, you know, five, six pounders, whatever they were. Uh, and then I moved to a swim bait as the fish starts to spend later in the afternoon. But uh, definitely a key, key component of that tournament. But overall, um, this is going to be a money bait. You know, when we get in those cold water pre-spawn tournaments, uh, winter tournaments, uh, this is going to be a, a great bait uh, for those deep, clear water fisheries you got a lot of times. Uh, look at the Slim Shad D9 and a D7 coming.